Hello there, this is Tapas Fleming with TATLife.com. Right now, I'd like to show you how to use TAT to reduce any fear that you've got going on. So the first thing to do is notice any thoughts that are there about that fear. Like, um, I could die, for instance, that's a big one. I could be sick for the rest of my life. Um, I might never see my family again. Um, whatever it is, just notice what's the collection of thoughts that are around about that for you. And definitely include whatever are the very worst thoughts that are going on for you. Don't try to um, hide them under the rug or sugarcoat them, just whatever those thoughts are, add them into what we call the pot for short, just meaning whatever it is that we're going to work on together here. And then notice what are the feelings you have? Well, fear, we know that much. There might be um, other variations on that dread or panic, or there might be anger mixed with it or sadness whatever. So all of those feelings, those emotions go into the pot too. And then any physical sensations like uh, mm, your guts might feel just tight or um, your head might feel tight and hurt. Your chest might feel tight and your heart might be uh, pounding extra fast. You know your body, you might feel like, oh, your blood pressure's up. So these are all physical things to toss into the pot. Take your time, notice that stuff, whatever comes to mind. And you might want to pause the recording to hang out with yourself just to notice. Anyway, put it all in the pot, as we say. And then next we'll do um, the heart pose that is palm over palm over your heart chakra. That means midline near your heart and we'll make our big intention for healing. This healing is on behalf of you, your whole family, all your ancestors, your conscious and subconscious mind, all the parts of you, all the points of view you've ever been identified with for all beings involved, all beings who would like to benefit and it'll happen in a way that's safe and easy. And sometimes, by the way, you're feeling afraid and you don't even know why. That's okay. Just whatever is there in your thoughts, your feelings, your body, just toss into the pot and you can do TAT. So in the next couple of statements, and I'm a very shortened version of the whole TAT process, when I use the word this, it means everything that you threw into the pot. Okay, so we'll do the TAT pose. That's thumb and ring finger of whichever hand, lightly touching just above the upper inner corner of each eye with your middle finger just about a half inch or so above eyebrow level at midline and your other hand at the base of your skull, centered back there with your thumb above your hairline. So it doesn't have to be stuck in that notch, just flat over there and centered, okay? So do the pose now and just listen to these statements. Everything that led up to my resonating, identifying and connecting with this happened. We don't need to know what that was that happened. I'll say it again. Everything that led up to my resonating, identifying, and connecting with this happened. All that happened, it's over, and I no longer resonate, identify, or connect with this. And if there's something happening in your life that's causing you to feel afraid right now, you can do this. We'll do the pose. Everything that led up to my resonating, identifying, and connecting with this happened. 
all that happened up to this point is happening now and I don't need to resonate, identify, or connect with that. And then select in your thoughts or a picture of yourself being the way you want to be, what you want, like that's all happening and I'm feeling at ease in myself. Or this all happened and it's really clear that it's done now and it's okay for me to relax, safe and okay for me to relax now, whatever you want. So just, uh, it can be something you're picturing or you can write it down, whatever you've got. If it's just a picture, then do the pose and picture yourself living that right now. If it's written down, you can read that to yourself or if it's short and you remember it, say it to yourself three times silently or out loud while you're in the pose. Okay, there you go. You can, of course, come back to this and use this recording whenever you want for yourself when you're feeling fearful. I really hope this helps you out and that you feel better and more relaxed all the time. Thanks for listening and see you next time.